Hi everyone, this is Dominic and in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can connect Alteryx to a data source. So let's get started. First, as you see, I have my Alteryx open and uh, I want to create a different or a new workflow. The first step in inputting any data or connecting to any data source is to drag your input data icon here on the canvas. Now you see in the left tab, in the left panel I should say, there's a drop down that um, shows you all the data sources like you see here you have um, files and data sources and we want to do a data sources that's, so that's our mission and under all data sources you are able to see a variety of sources that you can connect to. So you can connect to uh, Adobe Analytics, Hive, MySQL and the whole lot in Snowflake as well. In this tutorial, I want to connect to Microsoft SQL Server. So we have that option here. We go to Quick Connect. Now there's a window that opens that request for our connection name. And I already have a connection um, and this is my SQL Server. So um, how you find this is, uh, for example, in my case, I use SSMS. So I will, I will show you how uh, I get this information. So basically, when you go to your SQL Server here via SSMS, you'll be able to find your server name. Uh, you, so you basically can just copy and paste here. Um, for host name, you can put here local host. Or you can just put your um, server name. In my case, I just prefer to put the server name there. So I can uh, come back here and just uh, copy and paste. Now, um, you'll be requested to choose the authentication type. And as you know, there is there are two options actually, Windows authentication and SQL authentication since I'm using SQL authentication for this particular um, connection, I would just um, input the username and the password. And I can go ahead and click OK. All right, so now um, when I go to the tables, I'm able to see all the tables in my database. As you can see, um, the table that I really, or the database that I really want to connect to is the, um, let's say, sales data. Well, let's say customers data here. I click OK. And I can run the workflow. Okay. So there we go. This is the, um, the data I wanted to connect to and I have um, everything here in the particular database that I wanted. So um, I can now continue to, to build my workflow and um, there you go. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.